Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol HMNY. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30-minute time slices. I like to do this time frame, and it's a good job of telling the quote-unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Today was just pure bloodshed. I don't think there's really any need to beat around the bush on that. But, and this will mean a little bit more to those of you that have traded for a while. But if you have traded for a while, then I'm sure you're aware and you, I'm sure you've seen instances where there's pure bloodshed, but then there can be some pretty interesting snapbacks or maybe uh, in, in trader jargon, some dead cat bounces where the price all of a sudden shows some signs of life. Uh, you know, rookies, amateurs, they chase and all that. Uh, but there can be some profitable bounces that do occur. Now, does that mean that, and I really wish trading was this easy, just because the price got absolutely hammered today, does that mean that for sure there's gonna be a dead cat bounce or a snapback? No, there's no such thing as a for sure. However, it's at least worth paying attention to, uh, you know, because those you know s situations can occur. And really the, the interesting area going into Wednesday is gonna be this line right there, which essentially mapped out Let's actually do that too. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's try that. Where's there's the clone? There we go. So you can see that the you know, the price was essentially in this downwards channel. So the big question, and I should point out real quick, by no means am I trying to say that this is like some sort of great discovery on my part or an, an epic observation. No, anybody that uses charts, understands charts, is gonna be watching and wondering the same thing. And I bring that up because when a lot of people are watching and wondering the same thing, call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want, it can produce some pretty interesting price dynamics. So you better believe there's quite a few people watching this downwards channel and wondering, can the price actually break out to the upside? Can the bulls build up enough steam to get some sort of movement through that channel and then that could bring in some more organic momentum and create a, a worthwhile upside bounce? So that's definitely the, the interesting dynamic going into tomorrow. I mean, that, that very well could not happen either. This is why risk management, risk control systems need to always be put into place because who knows, maybe this downtrend just continues and this is gonna you know drift down into a oblivion. It's kind of already in oblivion, but you know what I mean. Uh, so that's always a possibility too. But like I said, from a, a trading perspective, an interesting setup. So yeah, let's see if the price can break out of this downwards channel or not and create some sort of dead cat bounce. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.